Express fans. It's the age of the night vault. And we're back once more in the mirrored city and yeah. we are swapping around. It is all sort of like a mirror of the last game. We're playing the same warbands except I p pretended that I run the roll off. Yes. And so I got to choose the board. You don't do very often. But then I pretend to win this game and as then, a result. <laughs> <laughs> and then probably forgot that I, mean, I didn't get three objectives in my half. Um, but never mind. Well, we shall see if that makes any difference at all, because it didn't in the last game, so... No. Uh, you've watched the last week's game, or at least hopefully you have, and frankly, oh my god, I think I just go from abject failure to just abject failure. I think you've it taken was... terrible dice rolls to a whole new I level. I think I have. I don't, I don't I think... think I did you have any successful dice rolls in that game? Uh, I did kill one, Skaven. You did kill one, yes. So I did kill you one didn't thing save at anything. one point. I don't think I did. I, f I missed a shot, and you didn't save anything. I didn't so save a single thing. No. And I hit once, and I think you missed one thing, and saved you saved most things. Well, I didn't get many chances to attack you. No. So anyway, we shall not dwell on the past, and we shall look to the future and see how we get on in this game. So, uh, as Robin says, he won the roll off theoretically of the board placement. So he's placed the boards like so, and the objectives we've got four, five, and three, one and two. Uh, I couldn't decide where to put three, so I figured I'd put it right in the middle because you know what. I, I literally don't know what you I'm know. doing any so. <laughs> yeah, basically, yes. Yes. Okay. I don't think it really makes a difference. So we shall now roll to see who gets to place the first model. So Moller gets... Just a single. Oh, two crits and a single. Doesn't make too much odds because you've got five models and I have three we'll to place. make you place first. Yeah. I'm going to put Bat Squig up back there. I realised I was an idiot. I should have placed the board the other way around. I wasn't thinking. About, I wasn't thinking about the way you done your board at all. That's the problem with doing these games quickly. I should have put it. <coughs> Never mind. And then you'd have been one square further back. Yes, a little bit. A little bit. Mine not made much odds. No, it probably doesn't. It probably doesn't. But um, so I'm going to put Festery here. Okay, I'm going to put the spike room there. Lurkery. Yeah. I'm going to put the Molog there. And I'm going to put Hungry there. Kirk there. Just switch there. And I'm going to put Stalag Squig here. I'm trying to block off your way down there. And I'm going to. I don't know. Lord knows if it's going to do anything or not. And uh, after much debate, I am going to keep my cards. I don't know if it's the right thing or not. I think I can score two of my objectives. And I've got some possibly useful. Boys. So we shall see. Such a risk. I am going to bin the whole lot. It might, be, it might be a mistake. Because I, I could bin the objectives or I could bin these. Yeah. Which obviously you can't bin one. And no, then. exactly. And I, <laughs> if I bin the power cards, there's a good chance I'll pick power cards that will enable me to score these objectives. Yeah. But I might not. Yeah. And, then and then there's absolutely, without getting the power cards, there's absolutely no way I can score the objectives. I think I've got to get rid of the whole shebang. So what are you getting rid of? I'm getting rid of arm's length, Ooh. cover ground, and grand melee. Ooh. So I need some sort of speed upgrade yeah. and something that might do lots of damage at once to some to people yeah. to score yeah. grand yeah. melee. And I haven't got those. And this is really painful. This, I think, is going to be the, the deciding factor in this game. I'm going to have to get rid of acrobatic. Ooh. Great speed. Ooh. Faneway crystal. Ooh. Great fortitude. And ready for action. Oh, ready for action. But I can't keep them because I'm so I, upset that you've lost yeah. them. <laughs> I can't keep them because there's, there's no, no. Uh, you know, I can't do anything with them. They're useless. So yeah, you've got the speed upgrade, but you need a glory to get that. Yeah, exactly. So and there's, there's none coming. Well, I might get it. And you're not near enough. Scritch isn't near enough any of my my squigs to kill anybody straight no, away. I can't, so I can't kill arms leg. I suppose I could have killed somebody. I, yeah, it, it just it just felt a bridge too far. Yeah. Um. So I'm probably now going to get even arms leg could be out. tricky because if Scritch yeah. comes over here and charges the Stalag squig. Yeah, you can get him with Moloch. Yeah. So we'll roll for the first round and see who gets to go first, and then show you our cards. So Moloch gets. Crit and a double. And I get nothing. Oh, two, double and a single. Single and so double. You, you get to choose, yeah. I think I'm going to let you go first. Okay. I'm having second thoughts about my cards now as well. But there's nothing I can do about it, so I'm just going to have to stick with my decision. 
Okay. Um, I'm going to start with my first activation and I'm going to put um, the festering scaven on guard. Okay. Power step, I have nothing to do. Okay, I'm going to play Spectral Wings. Oh dear. It's one to my first go. And Mollock's going to make a move. And he's going to go one, two, three, four, five. Get my Mollock's right in your face. In my power step, I don't have anything to do. So. I'm going to play Hidden Paths in your power step. <coughs> and Scritch is going. Scritch is going all the way over. Yeah. Move, and he does inspire because he's inspired, yes. I was a bit torn. The position of scratches, I wanted to be able to use them on the bat squeak. I could have put him out of the way, but then he really couldn't have done anything. It's a bit suboptimal because actually, my first thing I have to do is charge with the festering scaven on my second activation because I have to use this guard token before you flat him or attempt to flat him. So I've got to charge, which means I do score a change of tactics. Yep. Change tactics was one I took out from my log because it seems like a waste to have to put him on guard, put him on guard first yeah. and then do that with. So, so I've got mm. a new card. I'll try and want that one. And I'm going to attack because that's how this game works. So it's not your me. Two swords. <laughs> yep. And I've got a sword. One sword. I need a dodge or a crit. A crit! Woo! So that does nothing. You can't no, push nothing, me back nothing. or nothing. Zilch, zilch, a zilch. Okay, in my power step, I'm going to use Scratching in the Shadows. Choose mm. a new fighter and push them one hex. Okay, well, I've got glory, didn't I? I have nothing else to do, so on to my second activation. So I'm going to charge with Bat Squig to get him away from Scritch, and as he flies, he ignores lethal hexes. So one, two, three, four, to there. And he only does one damage, but it's two swords, he gets single assists, and you've got to beat me because you can't be yep. pushed back. A crit and a single assist, so... Can't be. Um, yes, Festering only Warrels one dice, yes. so that's one wound. Oh, not really as spectacular as I'd hoped. It's one wound, oh, not two wound. That's just the one wound, sadly. Killed, they only have do one, so... Okay. Yeah, not killed him. But that is one wound on Festering. Mm-hmm. He gets a charge counter. Mm -hmm. And in my power step, I've got nothing to do. Okay, so I'm going to make a charge action with the Hungering Scaven. I'm going to charge here. One, two, three to there. Charge Stalag Squig, um, which is... Hungry, and he only rolls one hammer. Just the one. Well, I miss, and he misses. Not at all. And any power step? Power step, I've still got nothing to do. Okay, I'm going to play Haymaker. So plus two dice for the next <laughs> attack. So, on to my third go. So, Molog of the Mighty is going to charge. Just one. Flip to there. He's going to club Kirk in the face. So two dice normally, plus two more for Haymaker. Four hammers. Well, there's a crit. And a hammer. So I can't, can't stop it. Can't stop it. So Crook has been <coughs> splutterated and I score Kirk. no remorse. Oh, I scored muttered. Nicely done. Yes, I kind of stood there and let you smack me in the face. It worked Exactly well. as planned. <laughs> so I pick up another glory, and I pick up another objective. Me too. In my power step, I've got nothing. I'm going to put great strength on the lurking Skaven. Ooh. And then for my fourth activation, I'm just going to do a little charge action to there with Lurky. Ooh. And he's got two, no, he's got, yes, he's got two swords. It will do two damage and he gets assists as well. Yep. Oh, it's a crit. Oh, it's the wrong kind of assist. So, Stavisk has two hammers. So I need a crit. crit. Yeah. Two shields even, not two hammers. Oh, it's, it's a, a crit, crit and, and a shield. shield. Not that you could push no. him back anyway. No. So, so Stavisk Squig oh, lives. So, it's Fight. all going well for you, sort of. So far, I'm not doing terribly. Yeah. My power step. Um, I have nothing to do. There's still a go left. No, I've got nothing to do. Okay, so over to my fourth go. So my fourth go, I'm just going to charge with the Spike Shroom. I'm just going to go one to there. 
Oh, can't move. Can't push him. He can only move two. Anyway, you? Still can't push him back. Yeah, okay. I just want to try and get him that direction a little bit more in case you manage to break through the lines where the stag squig is. I see. Yeah. So Spike's room has two swords. Does target all adjacent enemy fighters, but there's only one. And I get single assist from Batch Squig, and you do have to beat me. There's a crit. You cannot beat a crit. Cannot beat a crit. So he's dead. Do you know the You killed the Festerig Skaven. Festerig is also dead. And I get another glory, so I'm up to three. And in my power step, I have nothing to play. I have the Potion of Rage. Rage! And I'm going to put that on. Scritch, Scritch boy. Hokey dokey. I've still got nothing, so on to the end phase. Mm -hmm. And you went first. I have just scored a shiny example. Ooh. You got that the first time last time as well. Yep, I picked it up just. Nice. I'm not going to score anything else. I am going to get rid of our only way out, which I also did last time. Yep. <laughs> Sensing a pattern here. Molog, run. Run, <laughs> Molog, run. And I'm also going to get rid of Lethal Ward, which is the one where you can damage somebody if they're on a uh, objective token and you're not likely to be on an objective token. Probably so, not. Uh, I, I, I hoped... I could have if I just got uh, if I got the one wound I'd have pushed him onto there and killed him. Yeah. But it didn't it didn't pay off. Yeah, can't, these things can't pay off all the time, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Um, I'm gonna put on the right power there. And um, And then draw everything up. Yes. So I have scored Frugal. Because I have three unspent glory. I'm gonna get rid of both of my other objectives. I've got Chosen Champion and Victorious Jewel. And I I just don't know if I'm gonna be able to get to Scritch, so and with my two glory, I'm going to play Helpful Whispers and Soul Trap on Molog. I'm going to keep my last ploy, and then I'm going to draw up three objectives and five power cards. Okay, so it's round two. Let's roll for the second round. Oh, there's a crit. One crit. Just a crit. And I get... Oh, two crits. I think I will let you go first. I'm going to make an attack action with the Lurking Skaven. Okay. He has great strength, doesn't he? Has he has great strength. So two swords. Two swords. Oh, oh an assist. Single assist. Single assist. So Stalagy boy, two shields. <laughs> oh, hey! <laughs> He's not going anywhere. Hooray. Ooh, okay. So power step. What you gonna do? I'm not gonna do anything. Okay. I am going to use commanding stride. Ooh. And Meloj is going to go Oops, brink, 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 round to there. Anything else for you? No. I'm then going to play Foul Temper on him, which is re-roll one dice in each attack roll. So I'm going to attack with Molog. And he's going to do hammer time on the hungering. Okay, okay. So I've got two hammers. I've got helpful whiskers. Doesn't really matter because I've got a single assist there anyway. And I also have foul temp so I can reroll one dice. Hammer and a crit? Oh, you're on fire. So Hungering's dead. Yeah, I could have done with the Tomb of Offerings about now, but never mind. Don't be bitter, Pete. Just be happy you're killing things for a change. And in my power step, I have nothing to do. I'm going to play There Are Always More. Ooh. Who's coming back? I'm going to put the Festery back. Yeah. I'm going to make a charge action with Fester Festerson and go one, two, three to there. Okay. And charge. So he's actually now inspired because I brought him back using the uh, choose your thingy ploy. Yes. Yeah. So yep. He is now inspired. Do you want to give me a inspiration? Oh, look at that. Look at what's the awesome He's inspired. Woo. Inspired. So I'm going to attack. Attack. Yes. So he's got three swords now. <sighs> okay. Of which Ooh. there is a crit. Just a crit. Just a crit. So you it's only crit. one damage, isn't it? It is only one damage. Okay, so I do need a crit on this dice, or Spike Room bites it. No, he doesn't. Cause you only do one damage. Only do one damage. Won't kill him, but it will wound him. And I'm going to play trap. Ah! Spike Room dead. 
And then your power step? My power step, I'm going to play Expendable on um, the Lurking Scale. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm going to play Tome of Vitality on Screech. You've got five wounds now? Five wounds, yeah. Uh, I have nothing else to play at this point, so on to my second activation. So for my second go, I'm just going to move my loge. I'm just going to one, two, three. Over to there. And in my power step, I'm going to play Distraction on him. Push him back on. Okay. Just to make you have to charge with him if you want to do something with him. On to your third go. Yeah, so my third activation, I'm going to bring back the Hungering Skaven. Uh -huh. I'm going to bring him back over here. Bloop! It's all... No, he is not inspired. He's not inspired, no. So my third activation, I'm just going to move Batsquig. One, to there. He has move Ed. I'm not going to do anything in my power step. I'm not doing anything in your power step either. Your fourth go. My fourth activation, I'm going to do a little move action with... Um, Festerson here. Lurkerson. Lurkerson here, sorry. <laughs> I can just see Urson. Urson. <laughs> just assume it was Festerson. Urson, Urson, With Urson. Lurkerson here. Uh, and um, that's that's it. That's me done. I have got nothing to do with the power step either. Okay. Uh, I've got nothing to do in the power step either. So on to my fourth go. So my fourth go, I'm going to charge a Moloch. Go one, two, three. So he had, a, he had a move token. He's now gained a charge token as well. And I'm going to get Long Strider. Oh, well I'll pick up another card quickly. So I'm going to have a swing with Molog. He rolls two hammers, and I've got Helpful Whispers and Foul Temper. So single assist, and I can re-roll one. You've got a, you've got somebody adjacent to you. I don't think it. Good point. But I rolled a single and a double, so it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. And I gave up a guaranteed glory for that, but I can re-roll one because I've got Foul Temper. Yes, you can. Come on, crit. Well, there's a hammer. There's a hammer. So. How many dice you got? Two. Two, oh yeah, I forgot about that. Oh, that was no good. So he's oh. been splatterated. He's splattered as well. Another glory for you. Another glory for me. I don't feel quite so bad because I did give up a guaranteed glory for making that attack. Did you? Yes. Okay. So, but I wanted to get more this way again. Okay, yeah, I can see. I can see why. And in my power step, uh, I'm going to play Great Fortitude on Molog. He's up to eight wounds. Anything for you? No. So on to the end phase. And you went first again. I did, and I've scored keep them guessing. Noish. I haven't scored anything else. A two for that. For you were wondering it was attack guard. Move. I no, didn't do guard. Yeah, sorry, yeah. Atta attack and attack and move at the beginning and yeah, end. Yeah. You summoned somebody. Summoned over. somebody and uh, charged over here. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's that. Interesting. Um, and I'm going to get rid of one of these. I'm going to get rid of Scritch is the Greatest. Yes, yes. The chances of killing someone have dwindled. Keep considering the other one, yes. I'm going to keep the other one. I'm going to put Sneaky Stab Stab on Scritch as well. So that's be able to move one square before making an attack? Yes. Nice but not, not when it's a charge. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to drop five cards. Okay, so I scored Master of War. Ploy, upgrade, and objective scored. I'm going to get rid of plant a standard because that's stand on one of your objectives, which is what I, what I didn't do in the end because I could have just stood on that, but I decided I was going to charge over here and try uh, and kill okay. someone. Uh, I am going to keep my other objectives and I'm going to get rid of healing potion. So I'm going to draw up two objectives and five power cards. The third and final round, we're going to roll, and Molog gets... Oh, just a double, and much hammers. Oh, just a single, but that is enough. That's enough. I'm going to go first. Okay. So, round three, turn one. Every year. I'm going to start by using Scritch's ability to bring back... The festering skaven over here. Ooh. Anything in your power step? No. 
I have a similar lalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalal
You deserve this. Two hammers. Two hammers. Do I re-roll one to try and get a crit? Oh. <laughs> no, I don't think you do. I'm going to say no, but I want to roll the dice to see what <laughs> I'm going to get. You're about to get a crit now. rub it in. No, so I made the right choice there. Okay, so I need, a crit, I need a crit or two dodges. Yeah. A dodge and an assist. Scritch is dead. <laughs> oh, I wanted it just for that. Now, I've also got strong start, but that doesn't matter because you killed the stallion. Uh, did so. you just kill the leader thing? No, I got rid of that ages uh, ago, so sadly not. I just get the one glory. I was hoping that I could have taken them both out. That would have been even more glorious. And because I killed it? someone, I... Take, I lose a wound. Why, why I take you, a wound counter off because of. Why did you move if you wanted to take them both out? When you're on my turn. I want to take them out. With my turn though, you don't have to move them, do you? No, you don't have to. Right. But if I didn't move him, you, you would get an assist. Have, and I couldn't, couldn't have killed him with the Whirly Club attack right. anyway. If I'd managed to hurt him with the first Whirly Club attack, he was within shot range of the second Whirly Club attack. So. That was it. That wasn't as good as I was hoping. I do take one wound off because of vampiric weapon, but me. Yeah, so yeah, it's my turn. Bad. Your power step, isn't it? It's your going. My power step. I'm gonna now. play side step. Ooh. Nicely done. So I'm guessing you're in supremacy. Okay, and I don't have anything else to play, so we're on to the end phase. And you went first. Yes. I scored Escalation, because you played a million thingies, and yep. I played a couple as well. Yep. And I scored Supremacy. So that's five. Yep. And I also scored, that means that's my sixth one. I also scored Superior Tactician. I scored eight at the end. Give up this game. I scored Escalation, that was it. So you've got about 20, and I've got... I had 10 at the end. 15, I've got 15. That seems to be our score a lot. It seems to be about 15, 15 for you and 10 for me. I enjoyed that game. I feel like I played well in that game rather than the previous game where I, just couldn't, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't, it didn't matter. I could have turned up and just done anything I liked. And uh, We get that a lot, don't we, where you can turn up and, and you could play with a deck with of 52 dice, playing But cards. tonight the dice were balanced. This, this game the dice were balanced and I've, I've, I'm not wishing to say, you know, you, you shouldn't be upset because you lost, but I feel like I did, I played hard, especially in that last half, I played hard to get that supremacy because I, I needed it. I couldn't work out. I think I wasted my time bringing Molog around that way in the end. Because I killed one of your Skaven, but I never got a chance to kill the well, other one. I was a bit jammy that I got um, expendable at the right time. You do seem to be more jammy with your cards, but then I say that, and I just wonder if it just means it's because you've got... I don't have any. I've gone through the whole lot. <laughs> so, uh, in some ways, you know... I... Bottom card of my deck, Inspiration Strikes. Oh. Second bottom from the cards, Tomb of Offerings. Third from bottom, Fameway Crystal. <laughs> and fourth, Ready for Action. Oh. I don't know what it is. So you're shuffling shit as well. <laughs> Obviously, I can't roll for shit. I can't shuffle for well. shit. And I can't uh, play for shit. Through the whole lot. And actually, my card, the, the, I've been waiting for that bloody encroaching shadow all fing game. <laughs> <laughs> and it was the very bottom card. Oh, and I had to keep going. And actually, I was, because I, I, I knew I needed one more objective. I thought, I'm never going to score supremacy, but I managed to work out a way to do it. But arm's length, actually, arm's length, I would have scored. If I'd swapped that out, I would have scored it because it, it would have killed Stalag Squig with. Well, Is that with an attack, though? It's. Uh, no, I've just taken it out of action when they're not adjacent to any of your uh, fighters. Yeah. So it would have been alright to swap it. And actually, that could have. actually Yeah, that could have snowballed. I, had I done that, because I didn't know what to do, it could have snowballed because I got cover ground, which I could have scored because I had spectral wings in my hand, uh, and grand melee, which I would have scored because I was quite a shard gale. So interesting that one. I don't know what it is. I just. Just don't seem to be able to pick a decent deck. That just seems to be the crux of it. I don't get the cards that I want, so therefore I don't. I'm obviously not picking the right cards. Or you just always play better than me. Probably the second one. So that's a instructional video on how to beat Molog with Skaven. It doesn't seem to be too difficult, really, in the end. You always, 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 always f score Ta the supreme tactician. And whenever I take it. I always get it in like the first turn, or I never score enough. In my enough defense again, I've had it since the first turn. <laughs> <laughs> just sitting there in my hand. <laughs> yeah, I'm just I moaning worked. now. I worked, I worked for it tonight. I'm just moaning because I'm feel bitter. Like I worked for it tonight. I feel like I actually deserve this one because some of the others I haven't deserved. They could have gone either way, and you've, you, your dice rolls were rubbish. But tonight, I, I feel like I deserved it. I, yeah. I worked hard for that. Yeah, it just gets a bit better once you've lost 16 games in a row. I do see that. Yeah, yeah. Do then it that. doesn't matter how well your opponent plays after that. When it's sixteen games in a row, I do see that. I don't uh, care. But it's anymore. difficult because I don't want to sort of not 
I'm not, I'm not going to let you win. That's, that's no, I definitely wouldn't want that. But I certainly wouldn't want you to play any differently than you would otherwise. Mm. I mean, I, the the online uh, suggestion from everybody would be be better. <laughs> I guess, and that would be completely valid. You know, don't be and you might win a game. But there we go. I couldn't really. Molog has to go after Scritch on this matchup because if you can't kill Scritch. But they're slippery buggers, the Scritch. I mean, I was lucky, actually, I was lucky that Hidden Path came out. Yeah. Both guys. Although, to be fair, I did have to throw five fire cards away. You first, did. In the second game, you so did. it's kind of fair and reasonable that it came out. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, the first game, had Molog not died so early, I might possibly have been able to kill Scritch because I was closer to him. I could have gone after him because you used your movement cards and I could have possibly got him because I had Fame with Crystal on In Molo. the first game. In the first game, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So I had I more was chance, but then the I got game, You murdered, didn't go so. for it. You didn't go for him in the first round. You could have got a hit on him. I couldn't have. I couldn't have because he was right over in the corner. I couldn't have got Molo to him. I can't remember. I feel like you could have done when you chose to choose to, to hit no, him. No, I couldn't. I couldn't reach. I couldn't reach Scritch because no, no, not in the first round. In the, in the previous game, sorry, I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. In the previous okay. game, I couldn't. I, I couldn't. When I you wasn't close enough. I think you could have done because he's got a range of two, hasn't he? Yeah, you still were too far away from me. In I was as close as I could get. Yeah, first turn I couldn't have got to him. Well, and I didn't want to charge. Turn. And I didn't want to charge with him anyway in the first turn because then you can't do anything with Molog after that. Oh, so you mean the very, very first act? Very first act. Well, even the second one, I don't. Yeah, think. Yeah, so I mean, well, after I'd, after, the bit pointless talking about the second game. The second game, but, but I but teleported yeah. him in the. Uh, yes. And you could have got because I had to make a decision of whether to leave him in range or put yeah. him out of range, same as I did today. And that's a sort of slight problem with Molog. Or the good thing about Molog is that you have a choice when you have a teleport card. It's like, well, I could put Scritch out of the way. Or I can put him in the way. If you put him out of the way, he does nothing. Mm. You can't use him to score any. Apart from, can't use him to score any cards. One thing I didn't put in this deck, and I feel like maybe I should have done it in the end, is these kind of area control cards. You know, uh, can, what's the one where you're all in your uh, conquest? What, conquest or denial yeah, or something? I, actually I that don't know. I don't know. I kind of feel like it's scorable. You though. would have scored it. Yeah. No, I wouldn't. But, Certainly, but, divide and conquer maybe should be in here because, and I did wonder whether to put that in. But yeah. Divide and conquer always feels a bit. Kind of like it always comes out at the wrong time for me. I can never work out because I just I look at my cards. I kept all my starting cards, and whether that was a mistake or not, maybe I shouldn't have kept my starting cards because I could only score. I think I only scored one of the three in the end. Um, I think I scored frugal, but I don't think I scored anything else. And then I had victorious jewel early, and I just thought there's no point keeping all of that, so I won't get him. But I don't know, I don't really, I can't remember enough about it. I just, you played better than me and you won. So, congratulations, well done. Thank you. And there you have it, the very last game we're ever playing. <laughs> Next week, we'll be doing My Little Pony. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, you probably have to roll dice for that, I'm not doing dice, giving up on dice. No, I just games. thought we'd just play with them. Hello. Oh, yeah, just, just, yeah, plot them around the board. Yeah. So, there you go, that's how Mollard gets beat. He gets played by Pete. That's how he gets beat. Uh, I do, I have mixed feelings. Because obviously I like to see Scritch win, because he's my favourite. <laughs> uh, but he beat me, so I don't like him for that. So what can you do? Not a lot. I didn't get the cards that I wanted this time round to get back to Scritch, and I just find I'm always saying that I didn't get the cards that I wanted. Does that just mean I can't build a deck? Maybe it does. Maybe. Who knows? Maybe. Do you have? Maybe you have too many cards. That too many tactics that rely on having cards come out. Well, I mostly it was just everything I put in my deck was around Molog was about either boosting him moving him right. all that kind of thing so yeah. I did have Fameway Crystal but it was at the bottom of the deck this time I had Ready for Action that was at the bottom of the deck this time I had um, Commanding Stride I did use that to run round to try and yeah. get some free because you want to yeah. try and get him into a position where you can make attacks I actually wonder whether maybe your Static Squeak decision was the wrong one because when you were here you could have gone that way and it would have been not much different yeah, I don't but think it would, would have made have, much odds. So it could have gone one, two, but, one, two, but three. But that said, one, it did three, really three. bottleneck me, um, and I. You know, yes, because if I'd run around this the, way, then you would have just run around that they way. They were in the meat grinder. And I don't so. know where I would have put Stas so, in that situation um, anyway. I no. mean, I could have put him on an objective possibly to try and stop you from being able to get on an objective. But both games, I didn't get out inspiration strikes that I was after. Which was yeah, a that's real harsh. pain that's in harsh. the arse. Yeah. Because if you don't get inspiration strikes on Molog. No. Have you got Regal? Regal? No, I didn't take Regal Vision because I just. Mm. Regal it just seemed like two Regal Wasp names. I just didn't want to double down on, on two of the cards because there were too many other cards. I'd spent ages because I've knocked this down to a, t a 20 card deck. 
I spent ages debating what to take out. I can't it's remember hard, what I no, lost. I, I in. did the same thing with the scritch deck because certain things were reliant. So like the, I had um, the thing where you can shoot people on an edge hex and the thing where you can shoot people on a uh, thingy hex and shard gale, which yeah. is really great for taking low thingy count models out. Yeah. But then so I had Grand Malay and the one about getting people from who are isolated yeah. killing them so they they but they all work you have to have all of them in otherwise it doesn't work yes. and then similarly I had cover ground which means you've got to have some movement ploys in uh, but then I also had the supremacy one so you need to have some of your own movement things and it, and it, it gets to the point where you get I, so there was no ironically there was no anti modern tech in here which no. poss possibly doesn't make you feel any better but no it, not really because <laughs> <laughs> my objectives I took chosen champ because I figured they're all going to go on Moloch yeah, yeah, yeah Victoria's Jewel because I'm going to go after your leader but I got that early and I couldn't then go after him I got frugal which is don't have to have three unspent glory, which I've managed to score that one. No remorse, because again, Molog should hopefully be clubbing yes, yeah, people. Yeah, all the time. Massive assault, which never came out, and I never really got to play. Which is seven in a turn. Um, seven in a turn, because I figured he should be able to do that with his damage. Master stroke, because I've got both ready for action and I've got my turn in here. Again, didn't ever come out in the right time. Strong start, came out midway through the phase, so no use to me at that point. I think I'm gonna get rid of strong start. Because it's think just it's such a pain in the ass to get later on when you've already killed people. I think it's harder to score than martyred. I think so. I think you're right. Uh, I had great gains, which is score five glory. That never. Well, that sounds weird because presumably if they both come out at the same time, you could both score it simultaneously. But I just kind of feel like martyred. You can, you can. Martyred. You've only you got can to be, dangle well, somebody to score martyred. At least if I've got martyred, when one of my guys dies, which is going to happen, you know, I'd be able to capitalise off of that one. I probably should have taken martyred instead of strong star. Martyred is good for uh, you dangle somebody out. You get yeah. Glory, which starts your glory farm going, and it's good for supreme te superior, superior tactician. Yeah, I've got long strider because that's a given with Molog. Yes. Plant the standard, that in which both is games. yeah, plant the standard, which is standing your opponent's uh, objective and your opponent's arc. Because I figure I'm going to be over your side smashing people up. Which I could have scored at one point, but then because Scritch was on the other side of the battlefield, I then didn't bother with it. Yeah, I feel like that's perhaps not a good choice. Possibly not. It's easy to say with hindsight. Yeah, um, yeah, because it depends on who I was up against, because you could have been Fast Rider and his boys. Yeah, I just kind of feel like yeah. you're Dex all about assault, <laughs> and that one isn't, so it's almost like you've got to break yeah. your plan to get on it. But then I had, I'd used all of my five restricted oh, cards okay. up with, I had Ready for Action in my turn. Yeah. I can't remember if I think I had um, see I think things like I know, wouldn't have scored it today things like great gains are good for Monarch or, uh, well, I had great gains but I didn't score that one. Oh, did you have great gains yeah. I didn't you say that or, that's no, the five solid, glory one solid gains or, oh, yeah. solid gains three glory yeah, yeah. They're, yeah they're, they're quite good or even Grand Malay is quite good but you didn't have Shargale I'm guessing no didn't have Shargale no, I don't think Shargale is a great he's a great car for Monarch no because it, it, it I don't it, know it I don't weakens know. your others and, and it doesn't really do anything for you yeah yeah so do let us know if we missed any obvious tactics there, if there's anything other than, you know, don't do what you're doing, Pete, you're an idiot. And if there are any things that we missed rules-wise, do let us know on those ones as well. So we shall see you soon in the Millard City.